South Ural State University is the center of economic and social infrastructure of the region. The university contributes to the economic development, attracts international investments to the region and helps to solve local and global problems. In 2017, we focus on the establishment of laboratories and further development of academic mobility. The university financially supports our researchers' participation in international conferences. These steps are aimed at increasing the number of university publications in international journals and, of course, improving the quality of the publications. We have met 2017 performance indicators in 2016. Yet, from 2018 on, the bar will be set much higher and we need to make every effort to keep the leading position. To coordinate research and education at the university, the International Scientific Council was established at South Ural State University. Its members are the world leading scientists who have rich scientific experience in fundamental and computer sciences, engineering and medicine. Among the members are Professor of Computational Sciences Javon Kim, Korea Institute for Advanced Study, and Associate Professor of Psychiatry Mohamed Milad, Massachusetts General Hospital. The President of Emerson Edward Monser heads the Council. The South Ural State University Scientific Council is highly professional. Today we thoroughly discussed the university performance and the Council vision. Their scientific and research experience will help the university to effectively organize its further development. In order to further stimulate the staff motivation to increase their research activity, a system of effective contracts was implemented at South Euro State University in 2016. Within the framework of Project 5 and 100, South Ural State University has been moving in the direction of supporting students, PhDs and young staff in their scientific developments. One of the methods of such support is providing grants up to 400,000 troubles for the development of a research project. They receive the first part of the grant for the development of their projects. It can be the experimental part or the other project parts. The result of the grant is a publication or a patent. As a result, in 2016, around 800 students became authors and saw authors of publications including the ones indexed in Scopus and Word of Science, 17 patents and 60 certificates for computer and data programs were received. In 2016, the Computer Engineering Center was established at South Euro State University. It develops projects for transport engineering companies. One of such projects is the development of automatic control system of the power distribution and cameras cars, which provides effective movement of all-wheel drive vehicles in difficult road conditions. The main share of the Russian production of medium-duty and heavy-duty trucks constitute KMOS cars. KMOS cars are currently widely offered in the market. Besides, the all-wheel drive technology KMOS uses is quite interesting. We all know that KMOS almost constantly claims titles in the car rally. That proves KMOS master and makes it exciting to participate in the development of their vehicles. Together with Chelyabinsk radio plant Polot, South Euro State University has finished their project on the development of aircraft landing system for the airfield with the unfavorable surface and high snow level. We have conducted flight tests, which showed that our aircraft landing system is applicable in any condition. That is, when there is zero visibility during the landing process and there are runaway visibility. South Euro State University scientists have conducted research in the field of highly reliable power supply systems for different facilities on the basis of modern alternative hybrid generation, accumulation, distribution and consumption of energy. The 
South Euro State University scientists developed energy-saving geo-informational real-time system for the optimal control of thermohydraulic regimes in the district heating. One project focuses on alternative energy sources and their hybrid generation with the simultaneous energy accumulation. The second project is about the district heating these multiple consumers. The main idea of the project is the real-time hydraulic network adjustment. That is, we can constantly calculate the operation modes and control the system. The two projects are almost fully realized. We are now waiting for the final results. The Faculty of Automobile and Tractor Engineering has conducted research and offered technical solutions for the development of energy-efficient special-purpose diesel engines for unsure vehicles. We have already finished the federal target program. It focused on the development of energy-efficient engines. Two and a half years have passed, and now we have the engine that has proved its efficiency. Chelyabinsk tractor plan will make a decision on engine production. The engine parts must be exclusively domestic, total import substitution. The engine technology must be cutting edge, just as we have brought into life. 67 innovative enterprises have been established thanks to South Euro State University participation. Five of them opened in 2016. They provided 166 jobs and practice opportunities for more than 300 students. One of such companies is Institute of Sports, Tourism and Service Met, the branch out of the Center for Sports Science Research. The company produces orthopedic insoles. The insoles are aimed at increasing athletic endurance and prevent injuries. Thanks to athletes, our institute has been constantly researching and making development in the field of sports. When we were looking for the body reserves that affected an athlete's sports performance, we thought of the biomechanics of foot placement during walking or running and its underlying resources. These days we have about 10 ISISMED affiliates throughout Russia where we develop and market our insoles. Following the results on 2016, South Euro State University awarded its staff and students for their contribution to the implementation of Project 5 and 100. In 2016, the South Euro State University staff defended seven doctoral and 48 PhD dissertations. South Euro State University scientists published 45 monographs, 735 papers in Scopus and Word of Science journals, and more than 4,000 papers presented in the Russian Science Citation Index. Andrew Pimakov, a researcher at the Center for Eversian Studies, became the most cited South Euro State University scientist in 2016. My papers are published in a number of journals and I am an editor of a couple of Scopus journals. That's why my achievement is the result of citation accumulation since 2007. Of course, the most known article is the one in Nature. The article is the most cited one because of the journal authority among scientists. In December 2016, South Euro State University took part in Wusprom Expo 2016 exhibition. Signing the cooperation agreement between South Euro State University and the Roscosmos State Corporation became a notable event of the exhibition. The sign agreement simplifies the cooperation between Roscosmos and us in our joint projects. It is important to motivate pupils and students to work in Roscosmos in Russia. That's why Roscosmos and our university are working on the opportunity to develop and train in laboratory for students to learn about Roscosmos projects. This is not the first corporation of South Euro State University with big corporations. In July 2016, South Euro State University signed the agreement with Siemens PLM at an Oprom exhibition. Siemens doesn't have many agreements in the Ural region. Our university is the only partner for the cooperation of such kind. 
In any case, we have been working with Siemens for a long time and we have been using their products for our projects with other partners such as Camus and Ural Wagon Zeevold. The International Scientific Council has approved seven world-famous researchers to take positions of the heads of the innovative laboratories. The laboratories are planned at the university. In the nearest future, Dr. Manus Henry from Oxford University will lead the laboratory for self-diagnostic and self-monitoring devices and systems. It's very good to come back and see the substantial improvements in the technology that is being developed here. The study of molecular mechanisms of stress is one of the leading research directions of the university in Project 5 and 100. By the decree of the Scientific Council, two laboratories will be established at Higher School of Medicine and Biology. The laboratory for synthesis and analysis of food ingredients will be led by Professor Shirish Sunawain from NIT, Warangal, India. The National Institute of Technology in India studies ultrasound effects on water cleaning. It's a huge problem for India as well as for Russian regions. The possibility of using ultrasound for extraction of biologically active substances is the area where our scientific interest meet and where we can think of joint projects and develop them at our university. The second laboratory is going to be the Laboratory for Neurogepathology, headed by Australian scientist Julia Lysanio. Together with Professor Lysanio, we have designed an experiment which will be conducted in several science centers. South Ural State University mission today is generating and applying scientific knowledge and educating leaders capable of tackling global challenges. The challenges are of different nature, potentially hazardous objects, alternative energy sources, intellectual data analysis and stress. South Ural State University strategic aim is to make the university one of the leading research and education centers in the world. South Ural State University creates a nurturing environment for releasing the potential of every student and attracting investments to the region.